The patients were positioned prone on a radial lucent table. The angle of hip flexion and knee flexion was 20 to 30 degrees, respectively. Pedicles of two vertebral bodies adjacent to lesion segment were presented by intraoperative C-arm fluoroscope. Under the guidance of fluoroscope, the primary guide pins were inserted into pedicles on the symptomatic side. Connecting through the arch, secondary guide pin was placed at superior articular process. Connecting through the arch, secondary guide pin was placed at superior articular process. Then dilating and protection cannulas was inserted progressively. The depth of incision was restricted by hook-shaped front of the cannula so that Japan could reach superior articular process while protecting soft tissues and nerve. Subperiosteal dissection of the lateral superior articular process was done, and the inner core of the Japan was inserted and fixed. And then the majority of superior articular process was excised and then taken out by Japan, and the intervertebral foramen was enlarged. With the guidance of a guide rod, working channel was placed through Kanban's triangle. Then the endoscope was connected and the working channel was moved right to the intervertebral disc. Working cannula was rotated to keep the exiting nerve root on a safe status. Under endoscope monitoring, ligament flavum dissection was performed, and the remaining superior articular process was removed by endoscopic kerosene or bird drill. Then cano was decompressed and nerve root was released. The endoscope was removed and dissectomy was conducted through an implantation tube which had an inner diameter of 11.5 mm. The implantation tube was placed into the intervertebral space with a fork-shaped tip, and these two edges could keep the traversing and existing nerve root protected out of the working channel simultaneously while performing a complete end plate preparation. Adequately, the end plates were prepared. The endoscope was taken out and graft bone was implanted through the implantation tube. The total mass of bone grafting must be 5 cubic millimeters and over. Expandable cage was then inserted into the implantation tube. The spinal cano was checked with endoscope, making sure the nerve root was totally relieved. Four pedicle screws and two rods were inserted percutaneously. Sequentially, the screw rod attachment was tightened. Skin was sutured and a drainage tube can be placed.